I'm at the house at 7246 Enchanted Flame in the Grand Junction subdivision which is part of North Northwest Crossing. I'm going to give you 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is near Boeing's Crossing and New Gilboa off of 1604. So you have easy access to UTSA, USAA and also uh, going south towards Lackland and Sea Road. This subdivision has a community pool, playground, jogging trails, tennis court, and picnic areas. Going to give you a look inside. Uh, also, we got some nice mature trees here in the front and in the backyard. Got a two-car garage with separate doors. Makes it easier to park. You don't have to figure out if you're too far over or not. This is a three bedroom, two bath, single story home. Square footage is roughly 1,400, 11 square feet. We got a uh, little bay window here and a front porch. I'm gonna give you a look inside. We have some ceramic tile in the entry. The house has been completely repainted in the interior and new carpets have been installed in uh, this month, July, 2013. So we got fresh paint everywhere and new carpets everywhere. This is the formal dining room. That door goes through to the pass through to the kitchen. Uh, we got the two bedrooms to the right, the secondary bedrooms, the living room in the middle, and the masters to the left. So we're gonna start here with this huge living room area. It's got a fireplace, wood burning fireplace, and cathedral ceilings. Very nice uh, open space here. I'm going to head off to the right where the secondary bedrooms are. We also have uh, in the heating with AC and gas heating, so that should save you on utilities. This would be bedroom number two. Again, fresh carpet throughout. It's a little bit of shedding because it's brand new carpet, so the uh, as it gets uh, settled in, it'll have a little bit of shedding there, but that's normal. We also have uh, newly installed closet doors. I have ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. Here is the hallway bathroom. We have a tub with uh, tub and shower combination. And here we are in bedroom number three. Get another ceiling fan and as I move back into the bedroom here you can see there's also a kind of a cutout there on the right side so you can put a nice dresser there TV etc and still have room for your bed get new closet doors you can see the paint is fresh everywhere okay heading back through the living room we have the eat-in area, so you can use this as a second eating area. And if you don't use the formal dining that much, maybe you can use that as an office instead. Get nice tall ceilings here, very open feel. Let's uh, take a look outside here, so right next to the backyard. It's got a covered patio. About uh, 14, by, 14 feet by 10 feet, so you've got a good space here if you want to put some chairs, table, do some barbecuing. You can see we've got a good sized yard, lots of mature trees. And kitchen area here, we have your stove, you got your ice maker connections, dishwasher, let me just back up a little bit so we get a better view here, there we go, you need your cabinets and you got a nice uh, vantage point to look into the living room so you're not completely walled off there. This is a good size kitchen. You also got your uh, 
storage there. And again, I'm gonna open this door here so you can see the pass through to the living room, on um, the uh, formal dining room area. Off of there, we have the utility room, washer and dryer hookups. And then we have the garage, two car garage. good size. You also have room here towards the front to have some additional storage or maybe put another refrigerator or freezer, workbench, etc. And in that room is the uh, it's going to be the water heater. That is a gas water heater. So again, you have gas heating and gas water heater. Uh, that should save you some money on your uh, utility bills. And finally, we're gonna head off to the master bedroom. Masters is split off from the other two bedrooms. So it gives you a little additional privacy. You're not next to all the bedrooms. And a nice uh, new carpet, fresh paint and ceiling fans. Let me just turn around here so you get a little better perspective. It is uh, bigger than it seems. It is 18 feet by about 10 or 11 feet across. So it is quite uh, a big master bedroom. And then you have here your sink. Actually you have two sinks. You sink out there and sink in here. Uh, toilet and your shower. Uh, shower and tub combination. The tub is just being refinished. It looks really, looks really nice there. It looks really smooth and clean. And then you got the outside sink and a walk-in closet. So you got a bunch of different shelves to use. So I'm recapping this, this is a three bedroom, two bath single story, got some nice neighborhood amenities, very close to uh, UTSA, USAA, Lackland, and you got some really nice features here, new paint, new carpet, it's in great condition. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee, my cell number is 210 618 9161 or you can call the office at Liberty Management 210-681-8080 and of course if you're already working with a realtor it's set up in centralized showing for easy showing appointment. Thank you.